not all dry. I thought I would see more water, but... The Bologna Creek. It was actually a thing. It was a, a real creek. It was part of um, the multiple water ways that the city of Los Angeles had originally in its geography, you know, before man decided to tame the rivers. <laughs> um, it basically leaves the, it takes the water and channels it out into the ocean, into the Pacific. Um, and the Army Corps of Engineers, I don't know, maybe in the 1800s, early 1900s, not quite sure, uh, took it upon themselves to uh, pour concrete over it, mostly because of uh, issues with consistent flooding. Um, if you know anything about Southern California, the history of Southern California and rain and water, then you know that Southern California has a long notorious history with floods. You know, our topography leads to flash floods. And so for an emerging city back in the day, a city upon which the capitalists wanted to sell enormous amount of real estate, they had to tame the rivers in order to convince people to buy land in what otherwise would have been uh, not so smart investment because of the threat of floods. You know what I mean. Anyhow, Bologna Creek. Only imagine how beautiful it was before the before they decided to pour the concrete on it. But um, yeah, it's uh, basically it's the channel that allows the water that comes from the hills, the Hollywood Hills, which are um, you know, which are north of us, um, is that's north or north, west and east, north, north of us. Uh, well, they um, as the water comes down the mountains, it makes its way out into various different little channels. This being one of them, the Bologna which feeds the Bologna wetlands, by the way. Um, another topic of con conservation and development. Some people think or under the impression that these waterways, 
somehow get rid of like our dirty water our gray water from our toilets and stuff but it doesn't these waterways are actually they were naturally formed like this one that's probably coming out right there that was probably a different waterway too like a little creek that got uh, covered in um, cement and development but they still needed to leave room for um, water to funnel out water is always looking to get out it's always looking to go into an ocean i mean that's its natural trajectory uh, maybe it's because of gravity or the way the planet spins or whatever but water is always on the move very rarely does it sit still um, so this is fresh water i mean it was it's runoff from the rain so it's not like gray water and as you can see this is coming from rushing down from our local hills and it's looking to go home to the pacific ocean This is hilarious. I've been seeing these this particular wheels, little motorcycle all over the neighborhood in the last few days. I saw it off of like, I wanna say I saw it on Adams. Then I saw it on Washington, like heading towards Fairfax and now it's here, so. Somebody gets on it, takes it for a short ride, and then dumps it. If you sell, if you collect these, you build them and sell them for cheap. Well, I've said it before, I live in a very cute little neighborhood and LA is full of cute little neighborhoods. LA is actually a very beautiful city, um, full of really quaint little charming neighborhoods. Um, I think that the peop that what people bitch most about LA, and I hate to say this, I don't hate to say it, but there's a certain truth in America about these kinds of perspectives. Is I think the people that bitch about LA are people that come from another state, a mostly white populated state. So when they come to LA, they don't know how to fit in because LA is, hello. LA is really not majority white. And so I think people have a hard time finding that. Here's a little interesting fact I read in some book on LA. LA is the largest city outside of Mexico City, I think. It's the largest city in the Americas with the largest population of indigenous people. So it, if anything, Los Angeles is a real big Native American city. I'm proud to say that as a Native American. I'm owning that now. I don't know what tribe, I'm part of the lost tribe, but I am Native American. I hope it clears out today. As I would like to take my, the punk rock mongoose on a test drive. Anyways, thank you for joining me on my morning walk and I'll catch you guys later.